Yeah, well, Anu, you know, Mike and I, my cameraman and I tried to uh, make it through the corn maze. There he is. Okay. I found him, but clearly he's on the other side. So we got a little separated. Mike is on his way to uh, reconnect with Diana and I through this incredible corn maze, nine acres, pretty far to go. You found us. Woo woo. <laughs> uh, there's a lot to explore here, and I'll let you choose the path we go on next time, Mike, if you want to. This is Diana. Diana's going to tell us a little bit more about it. Uh, this is pretty cool. We're grown adults, and it's still a little bit of a challenge. It is a challenge, and if you go on the bigger corn maze, it's even a bigger challenge than the smaller one-acre piece. Well, we're on the bigger corn maze right now. We are. Okay, we cool. Are. So yeah. when we talk about the design and carving these pathways, how do you do it? Are the seeds planted in a certain design, or does it come after the corn has started to grow? Well, interesting enough, the corn is planted in a crisscross pattern, so we have lots of corn. When the corn is about... Uh, maybe 12, 14 inch tall. We have a, a gentleman that comes out here and mows the path using a GPS system. Oh. Yeah, it's really kind of cool to see how that works. Yeah. And then we maintain the pathways all season long so that the corn doesn't grow back in. So we keep the, the maize picture that we designed. And you know, corn is actually one of the larger crops grown here in Michigan, 2 million acres. That's what the state's website says, 2 yeah. million acres of corn grown. You have a lot of corn. Clearly it's fun right now, the maize, a fun Halloween activity, but what happens to the corn? Well, as soon as the corn maize is over, which is November 3rd, we will have it picked. And then the corn will go to feed animals. Okay. This is not corn that we can eat. Okay, it so is. don't take any of the corn home, kids. Don't take the corn home. <laughs> it you won't taste very good. It. <laughs> um, but if as you walk around in the maze, you will see where the deer have already been eating the corn. Oh, yeah, the deer so like it for they sure. They love it. And so they knock it down at the same time. <laughs> That's awesome. You're, we're really in the middle of nature here and here at Mayberry Farm. Tell me about the hours, how much it costs for families to walk through this. Okay, the corn maze costs nine dollars to get in and kids under two are free. You get to come out and do the corn maze, which depending on which one you do, the nine acre will take you about 40 minutes and the one acre will take you about 20 minutes. All right. And then after you're done with that or before, whatever you choose, you can ride the wagon out and back and then you can go visit all the animals. We have about 102 animals here on the farm and they're waiting and ready for you to come and talk to them. It's an entire experience yeah. here at Mayberry and we'll be taking you through it. Now we are, I mean, at least halfway into the corn maze. So we're gonna try to at least find our way out before the next segment. In the meantime, we're going to toss things back to you and you. We have more exploring to do.